Welcome everybody to Very Important Geeks, where outside there may be a 50% chance of rain, but in here there is a 100% chance of hot swaps. Episode 3. <laughs> that was so stupid. And before we get started, if you've ever stabbed yourself in the fingers with a pair of tweezers trying to manually open up a switch, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, hit that notification bell. Now this is going to be a very packed episode of Hot Swaps because it's been a busy, busy June. And as always, links to everything I talk about will be in the description below. And while we can't cover everything, we have handpicked a few things that we are most excited about. And with that out of the way, it goes up! Okay, first off, I want to talk about the GMK Shashin keycap set. Now I talked about this in my first episode of Hot Swaps and said it was the thing I was most excited about and it is finally live. I went ahead and I caught mine. It is live in Japan, in Europe, and all across America. I caught mine, so go ahead and cop yours too. All right, next let's talk about the Alluvia keycap set. Are you the kind of person that has always said to yourself, man, that Olivia keycap set is really, really nice. I just wish it came in aluminum. Well, good news, everyone. Now it does. Now the Olivia keycap set is the original Olivia colorway, but now in fully CNC, double anodized aluminum. That's a lot of anodization. Is it a lot? I don't know. But I would love to hear and see what they feel like, but they are $350. Ooh, so they are not going on my list because I have a mortgage to pay. Sad panda. <laughs> but if anybody wants to send them to me, eh? But if you missed out on the first round, if you couldn't get yourself an Olivia and somehow have $350 laying around for a keycap set, maybe check these out. Next up, we have the Midway 60 keyboard from Balsa Supply. Now the Midway 60 is named after the city that Balsa Supply is located in. And it'll be a 60% layout board in WK, WKL, and HHKB configurations. It'll come with a seven degree typing angle and is made out of anodized aluminum chassis with a brass weight. Chassis options will include black, gray, and navy, and plate options will include aluminum, carbon fiber, and polycarbonate, both in full and half variants. And it's an O-ring sandwich mounted case. Now this is Bolsa Supply's first keyboard group buy, so they're keeping it very limited and doing it via a raffle because they don't want to stretch themselves too thin and they don't want to bite off more than they can chew, which I think is a smart move. Now the Midway 60 will come in two editions. The standard edition for $370 comes in the black, gray, and navy colorway, and the limited edition available for $425 will come in a new colorway called Obsidian and feature a copper weight instead of brass. Now that's gonna make this extremely limited, but if you wanna try for your chances, the raffle starts sometime in July. Okay, the next board I wanna talk about is the Kono 84. Now this is a bare bones 75% layout keyboard, which means no switches and no keycaps. But what you do get is a hot swap PCB that's MX compatible, LEDs, and plate mounted. It does have north facing LEDs, so you have to be careful with your cherry keycaps to make sure they don't interfere. It also features RGB backlighting, Bluetooth switching between three pair of devices, a USB-C connection, a rechargeable 1850 milliamp hour battery, aluminum plate, ABS plastic housing, and it includes pre-installed stabilizers with a one meter USB-C to USB-A cable. Now, if you love boards like the Keychron K6 or the Anpro 2, but you really need the extra function row and the hot swap and the Bluetooth, then definitely check this out because it is being insanely competitively priced at $65 on the Kono website at the time of this video. Just remember to add switches and keycaps to your overall budget because this won't come with them. Now, the first thing on the list that's in an interest check state is the Icky 68 and GMK Stargaze. So this collaboration is to take their 68 Aurora and pair it with the GMK Stargaze keycap set with the nice navy, white, and pale yellow star theme. Now it looks like it's gonna be the regular Icky 68 keyboard with the GMK Stargaze keycap sets, except that the back of the board, back, front, wherever the USB-C comes out of has this awesome star map pattern on it. I can't tell if it's just printed on there, if it's engraved, or if it'll have RGB shine through, but it's really, really beautiful and complements the keycap set very well. So if you're interested, head on over to Geek Hack and support that. All right, now I wanna talk about the GMK Fuji and the GMK Dots keycap set. So I discovered these on Prototypus available for pre-order. And it's, to my knowledge, the, the Dots and the Fuji have already ended their group buys not too long ago. Uh, so 
I don't know exactly what's going on here, um, but the pre-order is live. You're able to put it in your cart and on the website it says pre-orders will ship after the group buy. So if you missed out on the group buy, maybe there's a chance here. I don't know exactly what this means. I don't have a lot of experience with the pre-orders after the group buys. If anybody in the comments does, go ahead and let me know. Would love some clarification on that. But the GMK Fuji keycap set is a lovely, calm, relaxing pink, gray, and white keycap set based off of Mount Fuji and the surrounding cherry blossoms. And the GMK dots, if you've been in this hobby for a little bit, you've probably seen the dots already. They're always very popular, super unique looking keycap set that just replaces all the characters and the legends with just different colored dots. It's a great way to make your keycaps and your keyboard stand out. If you're looking for something uh, that's just a little different and you already really have a good idea where your keys are, it would super confuse the hell out of me for a little while, I think. But I think you can get used to it. And these are always very popular. So if you missed out on the chance and you've really been wanting these, maybe this is your chance. So head over to prototypist.net. Next keyboard I wanna talk about is the Glitch Frost. Now these are a pair of acrylic transparent boards whose group buy ends on July 7th. So we are in the home stretch here. If you wanna go ahead and pick these up, now is the time to do it. Both are silicone sandwich mounted keyboards with CNC milled cases. And the glitch variant is this sort of neon green transparent matrixy vibe with a black and green keycap set. And the frost is clear acrylic so you can see through and see some of the components of the board with a nice very light pale blue keycap set. And both are available from Protozoa beginning at $210. What's up guys, I'm Random Frank P. No, I'm definitely not. But his board is available on Novel Keys. Now the Random Frank P board is gonna be a 65% standard fixed layout board and it comes fully assembled with a carrying case. Nice. It's got a hot swap PCB and is VIA compatible and you get a black coiled USB-C cable that comes with it. It features per switch RGB lighting, an injection molded polycarbonate case, UV printed topographic design, plate mounted stabilizers, a PCB plate mount MX switch compatible three pin or five pin. It's got an eight degree typing angle and a silicone dampening pad. And you can choose between some recolored NK silk yellows or recolored crystal jade switches. I love Random Frank P's channel. He's got good stuff on there. I've been following him for a while now. And this keyboard looks super cool with that sort of frosty crystal semi-transparent blue teal colorway, and it's got Random Frank P's signature topographic designs over that are really nicely done. It looks like a really awesome keyboard if you just want to get something fully assembled, ready to go out of the box. So I, these are available until they run out, I imagine. So head on over to Novel Keys and check them out. Next group I want to talk about is the Azora. Now this is a relatively affordable custom keyboard kit starting at $199. Now the Azor is a 65% keyboard with a six degree typing angle. It's sandwich mounted and it's got a 6061 milled aluminum body with ANSI and ISO support. It comes with a custom cloud shape badge and it comes in five different colorways. Screw and stabilizer support only though. It does not support clip in stabilizers. It's pretty tough to find an aluminum 65% keyboard kit for anything less than $200. So coming in at 199 is pretty good. And I love the slightly exploded 65% keyboard layout. Now it does support up to a 69 key configuration. So you get one extra key there. So if you're looking for a nice entry level aluminum keyboard custom kit, go ahead and head over to Salmon Cat Studios and check out the Azora. Now let's talk about the Symbiot keycap set. This group buy is running now and going on until July 9th. So if you're interested, go ahead and check them out. But the Symbiot keycap set is a purple space virus themed keycap set. And who doesn't love a good space virus? Very interestingly, it comes with an option for the standard galactic alphabet, which I didn't know anything about, but looking into it, apparently this is a real alphabet that substitutes the 26 letters of our alphabet with these made up sort of uh, alien glyph characters. And this has been seen in the Commander Keen universe. It's been seen in things like Quake 4 and I believe Minecraft. This is certainly very different and pretty cool. I like, I like the standard galactic alphabet thing. That's really niche and really interesting. So if you've got a board set up for a purple themed keycap set, check this one out. Now another keyboard that's in interest check right now is the Axel Studio Yeti. Now the Axel Studio Yeti is an Alice style keyboard and it's looking to run July 15th through August 15th. Now you'll have the option of an aluminum or PC case. It's gasket mounted featuring a six degree typing angle, QMK and VIA support with a JST daughter board and multiple plate options and it comes in five really cool colorways. Now this probably would have been my next group buy because I'm really looking for an Alice style or a split keyboard, but I'm really missing the arrow keys on this one. Uh, but if you're used to 60%, maybe check this one out. For 65, I guess I have to wait for the Maha to come back if it ever does. 
And last but not least is a keycap set, the EPBT Kavala. Now the EPBT Kavala keycap set is designed to look like a Grecian sunset. Now there are no fancy novelties or anything here, but this colorway is just gorgeous fantastic, beautiful, really, really well thought out complementary color combinations. The oranges, the reds, the blues, the gray, it all goes together really well in my opinion. And this for me, I think is gonna be my next keycap set group buy because this just looks too good to pass up. Now it looks like they're aiming for an October 1st group buy date. So go ahead and mark it in your calendars if you're looking to put this on your must buy list. And that about wraps it up for this episode of Hot Swaps. Stay tuned for next episode where I talk about why the Atomos Ninja 5 is one of the most essential pieces of gear. Hey, it's me. So drop a comment below and let me know what you're most interested in. Hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, hit that notification bell, and support me on Patreon if you can because this is an expensive hobby. And until next time, geek out. Sad Panda. Sad Panda. Sad Panda.